Hi guys, Joe here. Today I will be unboxing the 12 inch Vevar drill press. It's going to be a replacement for my drill press back here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a 1980s style Harbor Freight it's made by Rockwell. It's been our it's been a good uh, drill press, but it's time to replace it. It's got some funny things happening with it. So I went with the Vevar. It's like $240. Um, this box is like 75 pounds or something. Hopefully it'll fit on my base that I have for my other drill press. But this is just going to be an unboxing and a first impressions video. So with that being said, let's just get straight into it. That's our base. Here's the thing goes up, then the jump, the fourth jump. Has steel table. It's got some flash rest on it, no big deal. Chuck to the drill. It's the arm. Three longer handles with one shorter handle. This one goes for the speed control. This one goes for the up and down mechanism for the truck. Says it's a five eighths chuck. Thing's pretty beastly. Definitely bigger than my half inch, which is nice. Chucky. 16 millimeter socket. table this is removable which is nice it's two of these I just want to make sure they're the same yeah they're the same Seems to lock it in really nicely. Let's not eyeball it. Now this has a set screw. This is like a composite material. It's not made out of metal. Okay, okay, this goes on the back. This locks in the swivel. This is the screw to swivel lock. Yeah, so this just has a set screw right here to hold this in place. I'm not going to go crazy on that. I guess it's just that one set screw that tightens this whole thing on. These are the handles. The shorter handle goes over here. It's a little notch right here if you could uh, tighten that with the wrench. Just a fiction uh, fit. You want to hit that with a mallet, not nothing hard. Oh, that was really tight for some reason. So if you want to move the table up and down there, 
the installed screw in the back. Just loosen that up. Move this up. Let me throw a bit in here. This is a well used 5 16ths about bit I'm going to put in there. You can adjust the RPMs with this lever here. This is the readout for your RPMs. This tray or the sliding piece that slides out. I'm going to probably take this off because I can already tell it's just going to get in my way. I like to clamp, put clamps and put fixtures on here. So, yeah, this, this was not useful to me. So, it might be useful to some of you guys, but not me. So, that will go. Yeah, so right out of the box, this thing's pretty accurate. I haven't, I haven't messed with any of that stuff yet, so it's pretty accurate. It's a little off this way, but this way it's pretty dead nuts. So that's quarter inch steel, 5 sixteenths drill bit. X marks the spot, the laser, which is pretty accurate. Right out of the box. I'm running about 800 RPM. Yeah, lasers, dead nuts. Yeah, so this feels feels good. I mean, this two hundred and fifty ish dollars, under two hundred and fifty dollars for this, can't go wrong. Um, All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick walk around of the drill press just to show you uh, some of the stuff up close. So one feature I do like so far that I see is has a uh, chuck key that holder right here, and that's pretty cool. Um, it feels pretty smooth going up and down for a $250 drill press. That's a pretty good deal. Um, this is kind of, I don't, this is like a composite. This isn't metal. I don't know if I'm crazy about that, but yeah, this is metal. The base is like a cast. Um, it has this little tray that slides out. I put this up on there straight out of the box. It comes pretty darn close. It's just as close as my, uh, drill press I have over here so straight out of the box this things with no adjustments is pretty close so that's nice to see um here's your on and off switch up here right here's your readout for your rpms got your laser light right here whoops I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up well it is kind of light I ain't gonna lie right here's your light which is nice to have, especially if you're putting it in a dark corner like I am. So that should be nice. Um, here's your depth finder or your depth stop. So you can uh, set up a stop so your drill will only go down so far, which is nice. Yeah, so right here's your knob for your uh, your variable speed. You want to adjust it while it's running. Um, this goes from 500 to 3200 RPMs which is pretty nice. It gives you a big, nice range. Um, I'm going to set it somewhere between 800 and 1,000 and probably just leave it there. That's like where I have my other one set. So, yeah, this is a can accept a 5.8 shank in here. So this is a pretty big, beefy uh, chuck head right here. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this or not. I'm not too sure. Um, this right here, you can adjust for the base. Moves around. It's pretty nice. Um, there's a nut underneath here. It's not very convenient to get to, but if you loosen that nut, you can 
swivel the base this base can swivel like this too which gives you some more options on if you have to uh something that you need to drill on an incline or something which i've done with my drill over there before so it does happen where you got to do that it has a nice up and down but my drill over there i get it where i like it and then it don't usually don't move usually if i got two inches right here two and a half two inches i pretty much don't need to move it around but yeah my first impressions are for 250 bucks you get a lot i'm not sure how long this thing will last but i would think the quality is comparable to the one i have over here it's like 80s harbor freight so yeah all right guys so i'm gonna wrap it up there um like i said i'll leave a link for this thing so you can check out the exact specs below it'll be for amazon um they have this is the 12 inch and they have a 10 inch too i believe it's a clone to the win w-e-n uh drill press I'm, I'm pretty sure it is they're like exactly the same besides this one i think it's like 50 dollars cheaper um yeah so well anyways thanks for watching guys and if you haven't subscribed and you like this kind of content please do um let me know what you think of this if you have one or if you're thinking about getting one or anything leave a comment below um thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one